So after exporting my video, when I look in my final video, I was a little bit shocked. So today I'm not going to demonstrate any kind of tutorial video. It's going to be kind of like an insight regarding when you export a video or when you render a video. Now some of you are thinking that what is the insight regarding rendering a video? It's very simple. You simply hit the export button and you are done. Yeah, of course, you are right. But let me tell you a story. A few days back, I was doing some experiment on HitFilm Express, which is one of my go-to software regarding editing a video. And I was doing some experiment on vertical video, that is the portrait video. You guys already know that nowadays the trend is for a vertical video, for TikTok or shorts. So as like normal case, I made my composite shot first. And here you can see I made my composite shot in a vertical format that is 1080 by 1920 format since I want my video in a vertical format and I made my composite shot. And here you can see this is a perfect canvas for a vertical video. And then I drag my video clip. And after doing all kinds of editing, finally it's time to hit the export button. And I did. So after exporting my video, when I look in my final video, I was a little bit shocked. Now when you play the video, it looks like a portrait, but actually it is not a portrait video. It is not a vertical video. Because if you go to the properties of the video and you can see the dimension, it is still 1920 by 1080p format. That means it is not a portrait video, it's a normal typical landscape video. But it looks like a portrait video because since I made my composite shot in vertical format. But my final video is still in 16 by 9 format. So what is the reason behind it? I think probably some of you may not get this kind of issues because it completely varies from software to software. In some software, it automatically detects the dimension of the video. For example, let's talk about Filmora. You know about Filmora? So when you open Filmora for the first time, at the beginning phase it asks what kind of video you are going to make, whether it is a 16 by 9 format, whether it is a 1 is to 1 format or it's a portrait format. So suppose you have selected the portrait form, that is the 9 by 16 ratio and accordingly the canvas is formed. And here you drag the video clip and after doing all kind of editing, when you hit the export button, you can see the dimension is perfect, that means 1080 by 1920, which is a perfect vertical video. Why? Because at the beginning phase, you have already given the instruction to Filmora that I want my videos in a vertical format. So in Filmora, you no need to worry about that. But in HitFilm Express, the situation is different. Because when you install HitFilm Express for the first time in your system, it automatically takes its default format, that is the 16x9 format. And that's the reason your final video was in 16x9 format, although you made your composite shot 9x16. So how to fix this issue in HitFilm Express? It's very simple. So before you hit the export button, you have to first go to the export menu at the top side. You can see here. And you click the export menu and here you will see the different different video formats. But since I want my video in a vertical format, so you have to select it in vertical option. So once you select the vertical, then you hit the export button. Now you can see your final video is in proper format. If you go to the properties and see the dimension, it is a proper 1080 by 1920 format, which is a perfect vertical format and you can upload in a platform like TikTok or Instagram Reels. So my suggestion to all of you, no matter what kind of software you are using, maybe your software automatically detects its dimension. But when you go for the export, always check your export setting before hit the export button. This is not only in HitFilm and Express, you may use any kind of software, but always make a habit of to check the export settings. Let me know your experience. Have you found this kind of issues? or what kind of software you are using right now. Share me your experience here. If you found this video helpful, then smash the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.